Hello children, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to learn about the beaks of the bird. How beaks are important for the birds. Please subscribe the channel to get the new videos. Birds like other living beings need food, but they do not have teeth to eat the food. So how they eat food? Birds use their beaks to catch their food, tear it, bite it, chisel it, or crush the food even. Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing birds. From swimming penguins to running kiwis and flying eagles, all birds possess wings and feathers. No other animals alive today have feathers, at least not that we know of, though the same can't be said about wings. Birds also regulate their own body temperature, much in the same way a mammal does, and they all have beaks, or bills, whichever word works. There are thought to be somewhere around 10,000 species of birds inhabiting our planet, and they're found on every continent, even Antarctica. Birds use their beaks to fight with their enemies and also protect themselves from their enemies. Beaks is also used for preening their feathers. Preening means to clean the feathers and set them right. The birds spread the wax secreted at the base of the feathers during this process. Different birds have different beaks. The shape of the beak is according to the food habit of the birds. So, they have different types of beaks. First is crushing beak, carved beak, piercing and tearing beak, chiseling beak, probing beak, sifting beak, and sticky beaks. Let's study one by one. First is crushing beak. Sparrow and pigeon have short and hard beak to crush seeds and grains and make them soft before eating. Let's see a video of sparrow and pigeon. Second is curved beak. Parrots have curved beak to crack the nuts and fruits. Parrots can imitate our voice. A parrot eating maize with its curved beak. Third is piercing and tearing beak. Some birds like eagle and vulture also eat the flesh of animals. They have strong, hard and curved beak that help them to tear the flesh. Let's see a video of eagle. Fourth is chiseling beak. Woodpecker have strong, long and straight beak to peck at the wood and eat insects present in the wood. Let's see a video of the woodpecker. Fifth 
this proving beak hummingbird sunbird and the hoppe have long and slender beak slender means narrow and thin beak let's see a video of a hummingbird sunbird suck nectar from flowers this is hoppe which takes out insects and worms from the holes in the ground sixth is sifting beak the duck has a flat and broad beak which has small holes on both the sides it digs up the food along with mud from the base of the pond or lake Its beak pushes out the mud and water from the holes leaving the food behind. Its beak help it to sift food from mud and water. Seventh is sticky beak. Swallow has a small, broad, and sticky beak, which helps the swallow to catch flies while flying. Hello, everybody. In this video, we're going to learn about our friends, the birds. They're so diverse, and there are so many colors and shapes. It's fun to learn about them. For example. This tiny little hummingbird doesn't look anything like this huge ostrich, and these penguins don't look much like this peacock with its large fan-shaped tail. <laughs> <laughs> 